Hey, there's no shame in trying things that people ain't never tried before. What's going on? Boys, today I recommend not strangling things. And by strangling, I mean milking things for pleasure. Or forcing yourself out of a situation or out of a feeling you're in. Both are unhealthy. Neither work very well. And everything I'm about to say you can disregard. But holy bamboli, we're saying it anyways, boys. So, considering this is a farm, and on all farms, every farm, you begin your day by milking cows, thus we begin with milking pleasure, strangling pleasure. Milking or strangling your propeller, your manly propeller. Now, in anime theology, nutting is divine, but consider why you're nutting. Is it because it's righteous? That's what needs to happen. It feels good, but you're doing it for the right reasons. The right reasons. The righteous reasons. Or is it because you're strangling that moment for every drop of pleasure you can and you're doing it incessantly knowing you can't maintain it. You're strangling it and you can't maintain it. That is unhealthy. If you end up nutting even more than a person who's strangling themselves for pleasure, that's probably fine because that's what needs to happen, or that's what feels right. But if it doesn't feel right, and you know when it won't feel right, because you start feeling horrible about everything, that's when you're strangling it, and that's when it's unhealthy. For instance, moving away from literal strangling to figurative strangling, alcohol. I consider alcohol pretty righteous, but only when used correctly. For example, I drink almost every night. It feels righteous. That feels like what I need to be doing. Now, initially, I enjoyed drinking because it felt cathartic. I would drink coffee, I would get very drunk, then I could sing and dance and listen to music and have this big, grand, hyper-energetic release. A, a, a tall plateau. I liked that plateau. I liked that height. The more I drank afterward, the harder and harder it was to reach that height. So I'd have to drink more and more, more and more alcohol, more and more coffee. And I'd have to work myself mentally into that cathartic state, it didn't just come naturally, I sought it. And the more I sought it, the more it escaped me, and the uglier my drinking got, because I was strangling that medium, that cathartic medium, for catharsis. I wanted everything and I couldn't maintain it, and I couldn't have it. That's really unhealthy. Don't chase peaks, because they are peaks. You can go no higher, and you can only go down, and reaching them is harder and harder. And it's even less rewarding once you reach them, because you had to work so hard to reach them, you can't even enjoy it. Enjoy them. Don't chase peaks. Ride wakes. That's what righteousness is. That feeling, that good feeling, that this natural flow, the anime flow, boys, second dimensional resonance. You feel what's right. Anime titties. Tremendously right. Do that. You know what's wrong. Don't do that. Thus we come to the next thing. People forcing themselves and failing out of 
bad brain pits or bad situations. For example, when I hit a notable PR weightlifting, a substantial one, I'm surprised, I'm amazed, I'm wowed. But sometimes before I reach that PR, I get it in my head that I'm too weak to hit that PR. Or, once I've hit that PR, I'm terrified that is my peak, and I am unworthy of it, or I'll now need to fight so hard to maintain just that, much less make progress. And it's a bad brain hole, a bad brain whirlpool, boys with the but more importantly, you know already that brain sand is bullshit. You know you're perfectly strong. You know you're perfectly capable. And yet it still happens. So what do you do? If you don't fight it, your lifting suffers, deteriorates for a while. But if you do fight it, your lifting deteriorates worse for far longer because you're struggling in it. You know that brain badness, that self-doubt, is non-existent, but it still happens. So if you fight it, you're prolonging it. Don't fight it. It's, it is like quicksand. Just stick it out, ride it out, ride the wake. And I guarantee you that self-doubt or negativity or quicksand will pass. And everything will go back to normal. I don't know why it happens, but don't fight it. For instance, to be more specific, whenever I hit these PRs, I suddenly, immediately, worry about my form. Oh my god, was my form right? Christ, I see other people doing things this way. I'm doing it that way. Maybe I need to try and do it this way. But my form is funky on some movements because morphologically I'm an orangutan, right? I have very long arms and very long legs relative to my torso. I can't, physically, I can't bring a bar all the way down to my nipples because my forearms are just so long. When I was born, my dick inches went into forearm inches. I can't do a back overhead press because my forearms are so fucking long compared to the rest of my body. But that type of stuff gets to you when you hit these peaks because you're afraid if you aren't doing it the way other people are doing it, you're wrong. And you aren't wrong and you know you're not wrong, but you still doubt for some reason. In fact, that's how I got my first big injury. I was doing upright rows and people were bringing them so high and again, long arms, I can't bring them that high. I mean, I can bring them that high, but if you're doing that, that's not a muscle thing, that's a ligament thing for movement, not pushing or lifting. And I tried to do it anyway, and I tore my shoulder open. Well, not open, but, you know, I fucked up my shoulder really bad for months. So yeah, examples aside, you know your own self-doubt is false because you're the only person, boys. You're the protagonist. Nobody exists if you don't exist. It, your self-doubt or whatever it is, it, it's not real and you know it's not real because it will pass. So don't fight it and prolong it and make yourself even more miserable worrying about it. 
Just ride it out. Just ride it out and enjoy yourself. But that about rippity wraps this one up. I hope you enjoyed watching, because I certainly enjoyed making it. One of those self-doubt things is whether or not my content is actually valuable. It feels valuable, but it also feels like nonsense. For instance, I planned out a video on why green is objectively and anime theologically the most important color. Like if you enjoyed, because that helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't, because we do this shit sometimes. And comment your thoughts, because I love hearing from you. What about you, boys? What do you strangle for pleasure at your own expense? Your own harm, even. Or actually. And what are some of your self-doubt, brain, sand, holy woolly? Holy, holy, holy holes. <laughs> but thanks again for watching, everybody, really. We have a lot of fun on this channel, so much fun. In fact, I got some nice new pants for seven... It was, that's one of those lies. You ever do that where you'll, you'll lie, a very, very small lie, like a, a number or something, just to feel better about yourself, and it wouldn't matter? I just said seven dollars, they were actually eight dollars. Or when you're when you're fifteen and you say you're sixteen, or something like that. And it doesn't really matter to the person. It doesn't make them think any higher of you, but if they find out you lied, you look really bad. That's what I just did. They weren't seven dollar pants, they were eight dollar pants. But they're very comfortable. And they look like old, I want to say m mobster builder or muscle stir pants, and the ass is really nice in them. And there's so much space in those pants, we could fit all the fun in the world on this channel in those pants. And I think we should. I think we should. But thanks again for watching, video, really. Oh my god, I'm messing up the intro. Uh, the outro! Holy Jesus! Hold on, let me think through this outro real quick. But thanks again for watching, video, really. We have a lot of fun on this channel. So much fun, in fact. Something about filling up this fun. And that's how much fun we have on this channel. And that's how much fun we have on this channel. Boys, and I, mouse down, look forward to doing this with you guys again in the future.